Hi folks, my knife here. Uh, last episode, if you watch it, you know we put in these uh, these five sluices here just to demonstrate how they work. Didn't really need anything from them here. Uh, but there were a few uh, questions and comments about them in the, uh, well, in the comments to the video. So I thought I'd just cover those. Kirok Craft asked if it was possible to pack these more tightly together. In other words, not to have this gap between them. And I don't think so. I think if you try and do that, that uh, they'll pop out of the ground. But let's, instead of referring to the wiki, let's give it a try. So I can dig this out with no problem. Yeah, but as soon as I try and dig that out, the uh, they pop out of the ground. Whoops. Ooh. Well, that's kind of a nasty problem. Hmm. Keep forgetting that this dirt will fall down if you're not careful about it. So is it possible? Okay. That works fine. Now, it should be possible if you put them at different levels, i.e. if you can, uh, you know, maybe put this middle one, lower it down two or three blocks or whatever, so that, you know, the dirt to either side of, you know, the, of the upper sluice remains in place, and then the other ones blow it. And you'd have to fiddle with the, uh, have to fiddle with the water feed to get that all to work out. But in general, but not on the same level. You you can't have them on the packed in like that at the same level. Um, ooh, it's dark here. Let's get inside. And uh, Alexana was pointing out. I spent a bunch of time talking about how sluices were could be useful in getting your first enough metal for your first ingot. And Alexana pointed out that since the sluices are made out of planks, and you need a metal saw to make your planks, you can't use them for your first ingot because <laughs> you need an ingot to make that metal saw and that's correct I was I keep forgetting back in the early versions of TFC you could make planks using a stone axe yeah wouldn't that be nice <clears throat> but that's uh, not been true for quite a while now uh, so yeah you can't use it to get your first ingot but you if you've only collected up enough for one ingot you could make a saw and then use sluices to get enough to make say a, a pick and a pro pick for example get enough metal Okay, uh, next thing I want to show you is uh, we're going to do it in the daylight, so let's make it day. And by the magic of Minecraft, it is day. Ooh, look at all those crops that we brought in. That's another episode, I think. Oh, there'll probably be some zombies out here waiting for me. Uh, the other thing, as you can see in the distance here, some more of our trees, our fruit trees are now. Now bearing fruit, this is the banana tree. So we can get fruit from it now. Oh, I caught it already. And the peach tree. So gotta start working on harvesting that. And the lemon tree is done. Still nothing from the olive tree and nothing yet from the, this is red apple. Yeah, red apple tree. We still don't have a green apple tree. Hmm. Okay. All right, now the other thing that I wanted to do, well, let's put this away, is I don't know, you know, if if you remember, or, you know, some of you probably didn't even bother to watch it, but way back when, when I first dug this uh, hole down to what I call the nexus, to my tunnel system, and mine system down below the house, um, I broke into a cavern, a basalt cavern, and I said, oh, we'll have to come back and explore it sometime. And we never have. Or I never have. It's not your fault, it's my fault. So, I'm thinking that that might be an interesting thing to do. You know, this is Minecraft and I haven't done any spelunking yet. Which is kind of odd, so why don't we do that? And I don't really need two pro picks. So let's put this guy up here. But I do think I will take my bow. Um, oh, should have some arrows, don't you think? Arrows are usually handy with a bow. And the rest of the stuff can stay. I don't really need the dirt, though. Oh, and that was the other thing. So, I have a bronze sword. Uh, 
I'm going to run into mobs down there. Is it worth my while to make a steel sword? Ah, you guys haven't seen me make a sword yet, so... Well, I mean, you've seen me make the bronze sword. Pour one out. But for an iron sword, I'm going to have to hammer it out. So, if I remember correctly, it takes one double ingot and we need a plan. Where are we here? Here we go. All right. Is 14 enough? Let's find out. Yep, sword blade. There we go. Thank you for your support. All right. Uh, come up here. Sword blade. We've got flux. We've got a hammer. I should have two. There we go. Two hot iron ingots. Up here somewhere. Combine them into a double ingot. And I don't want to turn it into a plate. I want to turn it into a sword blade. So I have to end off with two bends and then any kind of a hit. So the two bends are going to go to the right and the hit will go to the left. Okay, so let's just bend all the way out there. Ooh, so that's going to be like a big hit. Ooh, it's not a very good blade. Oh well. I'll know better next time. And I think I still just add a stick to the bottom of it, right? There we go. So what's the difference here? 240 attack damage, 220 attack damage. And it'll last longer. So there we go. And I really don't need to uh, have two swords with me, I don't think. Especially if I die, it'd be nice to have a backup sword up here to return to. Okay. Let's go down. I'll cut out the descent since you've seen it before. Okay, so here we are, down in the black catacombs. Yeah, let's put something here. Ooh, bit of a lag. Just make sure nothing spawns there. And something there, okay. Ooh, spider. Okay. And I guess we start going in this direction. Uh, bat. Don't get in my way, bat. I'm going to be pretty trigger happy, I think. Okay. Nice open area down here. Now, the one bad thing about basalt is I won't be able to find any of the uh, minerals that I'm looking for. Uh, okay. Here. I mean, you know, I'll tap out just to see what's around. Whee! Nothing. But I'm not going to find any... Uh, what do I want here? That. I'm not going to be able to find any kaolinite. Nor any graphite in basalt. <coughs> So that's a little bit of a disappointment. However, uh, I might, if we can get down low enough, run into some lava pools. Which is different from the lava level. Uh, the lava level is basically the bottom level, bottommost level where it's you know pretty much all lava. But aside from that, you can find the, you occasionally find these separate little lava pools. And they very often have sulfur around them. And if we can find some sulfur, I've always, already found saltpeter elsewhere. And we've been making charcoal. So the three of those together would let us make gunpowder. And then we can do some, have a bit of fun with that. Keep seeing spider eyes, but none of them are coming for me. The suspense is killing me. Well, actually, suspense isn't killing me, but the monsters might. Oh, what else should I talk about? Oh, I might as well talk about 
the gunpowder since I brought it up. Oh, there's some mobs. I don't want that there. Oops, lost the torch. Actually, I guess first I'll discuss my uh, torch lighting methodology. Um, so in boating, they have this thing called uh, red right return. So you can have like green and red marker boys on the entrance to a harbor. And you want to keep the red marker to the right of your boat when you are returning to harbor. Thus, red, right, return. And so I use the same thing here is, so I set, I, as I'm going outward, I place the torches on my left. Oh, gold. Cool. Huh. I wonder if that's my, uh, part of my, the deposit I found before. Mark that for later. Uh, so I place them on my left on the way out, so that on my way back they'll be on my right. So I can find, always find my way back just by following torches on my right. And so those are torches which are angled on a wall. If it's straight up and down to one side like this, that's just, that's just lighting to keep things from spawning. And if it's straight up and down in the middle of a path, middle of a corridor or something like that, that means that that's a dead end that I've explored down there and there's no point in going back. Hmm. Oh, I can get my torch back. How exciting. Oh fuck, did I look at him? Did I accidentally look at him? Hmm. I don't hear the really pissed off sounds. Sometimes they make those other sounds even when they're not particularly pissed off. Okay. Okay. Well, we're only at level 41. We're not going to find any... Uh... Oh! There's a creeper. <clears throat> oh, he fell down? No, no. He's sitting right here. Oh, this is going to make him easy to kill. Or easier. There we go. Oh, speaking of gunpowder. Whoops. Yeah. Spiders all around, damn it. Oh, I don't like that. Haha, <laughs> didn't get me that time. Keep watch out for that Enderman. Okay, one more shot on the skeleton should do it. No, it didn't. What? Whoops. That was a bad idea. Did that give them a road up? Doesn't look like it. Now you know why I usually play on peaceful. I'm timid. And just for my paramour's clarification, I wasn't talking about our cat. We have a cat named Timid. I knew you'd appreciate the, the clarification, sweetie. Now to take out this guy. There we go. So 
I'm not achieving anything here. I'm just kind of standing around, wasting time. So let's at least try and get a few more torches down. Uh, man, that Enderman is the one that's really bothering me. I can run away from these other guys and if they take one or two shot, get one or two shots in on me, they won't kill me. But Mr. Enderman, he can mess me up good. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got out here. Ooh, that's a bit of a fall. Mr. Enderman, will you please just like go away? I even Oh no, it's daytime, isn't it? Oh yeah, I should have come down at night. That would have been smarter, wouldn't it? Uh, let's spam some torches over here. Let's see what happens. Okay. This area is a little bit safer. No. Not a lot, though. to get down very far. Well, let's try over here. It's there. They are mostly rather precipitous drops. Yeah, see what I mean? Hmm. Well, this is a bit of a bust. I mean, I, we got a little bit of combat, but... I guess I could possibly mine my way over. No, that's... I was thinking of going... Yeah. Go down there and mine my, mine my way over. But I don't think that's far enough down anyway. So... All right, I'm going to put some stairs in. <clears throat> I won't bore you while I bore you with it, but I'm going to knock some stairs in here. Back in a bit. Okay, I've made it down to level 24 at least. Let's actually get a bigger stack of torches on my bar. And let's spam a few torches out here. Whoops, that's misleading. There we go. Okay. All right, let's have a look over in this direction first. Oh, deeper down we go. It's good for a start. This gets us down to level 20. Ah, should have a look around, just see if there's anything down here. No, of course not. Yeah. In TFC, caves are not the most exciting place to find stuff. Yeah, you do sometimes find stuff in caves, but... I find that mining works better and especially if you're 
in the hostile mode. It's a, uh, shall we say, more controlled situation when you're mining. Less chance of getting jumped by the heebly greeblies. Oh, there's some cinnabar down here, but I don't need that. Like I said, I don't expect to find anything I need down here since it doesn't show up in basalt. I have an alternative reason also for wanting to light up a bunch of stuff down here. I'm considering building a mob farm. In which case it would help to have this lit up down here to improve the productivity of the farm above. Whoops, I'm pretty far away from my mic. I bet you I was... My voice was quite faint. My voice quite faint most of the time, I think, but... Fainter than usual. Well, uh, now we're heading back up. That's not too exciting. Eh, nothing here. You can see the gray distance there. Should be la like there should be not the little pools, but it should be the lava layer close by. Somewhere around there. Actually, this should probably be like that, so I don't confuse myself. Yeah, there we go. There's the lava layer. Uh, here a spider. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. How do they always manage to get a shot in at me, even though I'm like hammering down on my sword? Come on, die. Boy, am I ever glad I invested in this uh, s wrought iron sword. It is pathetic. Ooh, I'm running out of torches already. Clearly, I should have brought more stacks. Well, this is pretty easy to get down, I think. Yeah, don't I'm I might find some sulfur down around those big pools, but normally not. Normally it's only the little pools. Oh yeah, this guy's spawning down there. Ooh, that's one of those nastier guys. There we go. And quickly, let's get some torches down here. Because I'm stiff. You know, I'm not so in need of string that I would be bothered if I... If you just fell into the lava. But dying is even better. Hi, Frank. Zombies are a little more reassuring, except having killed one now, I may be about to be overrun by a whole bunch more. And... I'm at level 18 here. Yeah, here comes another one. Come on, Pathfind. Uh, that's pretty retarded pathfinding. Okay, let's. We're just about out of torches, so. That will be the end of this, then, once we're out of torches. 
Oh, I heard you, but I couldn't see you. Whoa. I'm getting pincushioned here. Ah, there were two of them, that's why. Ah, where's me? Uh, my food. And while I'm at it, I better drink because I can't run the way I am now. And then let's take you out. And one more. No. Good lord. How many arrows does it take to take one of you guys out? There we go. Huh, that's the problem with playing on vanilla. I've been playing on vanilla a bit recently. It's been quite a while since I have, and I've gotten used to less, taking less shots to kill some of these mobs. Uh, is it safe for me to come up here now? Finish my torch spamming. Nope. Still one more guy there. Well, I got one more, uh, got one more torch down. I think that's pretty much it for me. Hmm. Well, I got shot at. I got hurt. Got to kill a few things. Picked up some gunpowder the old-fashioned way. All right, well, once I get back... And there's my ladder back to heaven. Okay. Well, I don't know how exciting that was, but... Like I said, got some torches put down. Oh, well, I guess the only other thing to show is one of my tunnels now is up to one kilometer long. That's usually where I stop them. So this guy's got another 600 meters to go, 700 meters, and 600 on that one. <clears throat> Normally I run them all out to one kilometer, and if I haven't found everything I need by then, then I start a new world. But since I've got all of you fine folk along for the ride this time around, I probably won't do that. I'm actually trying to keep this world going until uh, the new version, uh, build 78 of TFC is out. And then I'll start a new world and go with that. Because there's all sorts of cool new stuff in there and pretty much everything has changed. <laughs> or a lot has changed. So. Okay, um... Well, all right, I'm going to uh, check for the time on this, and I don't think it's been a full session yet, but it may well have been. And uh, then I'll come back in and either say goodbye or we'll move on to the next thing. See you in a bit. My, how time flies when you're playing Minecraft. So even though I cut out vast swaths of the most boring parts of that crawling around through the caverns, it still means that we're at the end of our time here. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you back for the next episode.